moving on on our discussion on chapter 4 we have here now the objectives of police planning so the first objective that we have here is to increase the chances of success so that is true on planning so wag niyong i-apply yung uh, niisip ninyo na mas maganda kapag walang plano especially sa mga outing kasi yung mga planadong outing hindi natutuloy pero yung planado na outing yun pa yung hindi planadong outing yun pa yung hindi na I mean natutuloy so hindi po ganyan sa police plan I mean hindi po ganyan sa police work okay so it's different on police work so in police planning or in police works it's very important to create a plan because it is at least increase the chance of success so as to outing iba namang usapan yan okay and then we have here on number two to force analytical thinking and the evaluation of alternatives for better decisions so as to the steps in planning meron kasi yung tinatawag natin sa last step okay, last part you are going to have post evaluation a okay, post evaluation of the uh, practices na ginawa ninyo in the execution of the plan or to evaluate yung plano overall result ng plan okay if it is or does it gives a better result or does it gives a uh, that's it gives the best result so with that if you're able to find out na hindi maganda yung naging kalabasan ng plano then that's the time or you can have an idea that you should need to change or create a better plan so that when it comes or when the time comes na maulit ulit or may encounter niyo ulit mga ganong situation then at least you will be able to have a best better or the best plan for dealing or in dealing with that kind of situation and we have here number three establish a framework for decision making okay, consistent with the goals of the organization so at least we know how to or what to follow if we have a plan then we can easily decide or we will know on what to do especially kapag stage taking yan so sa protocol natin nakalagay dapat ang makipag-usap lang is negotiator lang muna so at least you will know or you will decide easily kung ano muna ang dapat nyo gawin Okay, unlike doon sa walang-walang plano, then what are you going to decide or can you decide easily kung paano mo imamando or paano mo imamanage yung mga tao on how to deal with those situation. Okay, so at least if you have a plan, then you will know or you will have a basis on what you should do first. Tulad sa kidnapping operation. So we have mentioned sa kidnapping, di ba? Kapag involved lang ay isang tao or a certain individual, then that is not needed na hindi may coordinate with the anti-kidnapping uh, uh, council or anti-kidnapping group. Okay? Pero kapag yan ay ang involved, kapag involved ay, ay organized crime or terrorist group, then that's the time. Task force na ang may involved doon. Okay? So, with that, uh, kapag naka-encounter kayo, situation na along, ano lang naman, individual lang sa locality, then you will know. You can decide na we should take it already or you should be the one to move okay, in response to uh, that situation. Hindi na yung mag-iisip pa kayo. Ano kayang gagawin natin? Kailangan ba natin itong i-report kay Chief PNP? Kailangan ba natin i-report to kay Regional Director? Okay? So, if you have the plan, you, then you can easily decide on what you are going to do. And then we have here to orient people to action instead of reaction. Or more on, if you have a plan, okay, you can uh, be... Uh, if you are planning, di ba? Kapag gumagawa ka ng plano, that means you are proactive. Okay? So, you are not reactive. So, you are proactive. You are doing an action before uh, it comes already or before it happens. So, that is uh, that is important or that uh, brings or that makes more. Okay? Or that is an advantage on the part of the police force. We have here also to modify the day-to-day uh, the day today style of operation management fo future focused operation management so with that planning yan nya ay uh, usually we create plan especially to those uh, unnecessary things na pwedeng mangyari or inaassume natin assumptions natin na pwedeng mangyari in the future by analyzing kung ano yung meron tayong data ngayon okay so with that diba, kapag meron tayong data ngayon let's say sa crime rate Okay, nakikita natin, masyadong marami yung uh, kriming nangyayari sa ating locality na case of robbery. Okay, so basing on that situation, titignan mo yung situation ng uh, locality ninyo. Okay, walang tulong yung barangay ninyo, walang tulong yung community. 
and then konti yung manpower mo. So anong ma-assumption mo doon? Ma-assumpt mo or ma-estimate mo doon na pwedeng mangyari in the future. So with that, at least nai-imagine mo tendency noon baka tataas pa lalo yung uh, crime rate. So with that, may magkakaroon ka na ng idea na you should create a, or you should modify a plan basing doon sa resources na meron ka. Okay? Basing doon sa situation na nangyayari sa community so that you can modify your day-to-day plan of operation or you can create a plan for future uh, purposes also or for the future events that might happen. And then we have here number six to help avoid crisis management. I mean crisis management and provide decision making flexibility. Okay, as we have said, one of the good characteristics of plan is flexible. It should be changed. Pwede nating mabago or pwede nating ma uh, mag pwede ba nating ma exercise yung sinasabi natin na plan A, plan B or pwede nating mabago or ma adjust. Okay, that should be flexible. Okay. And then we have here to provide basis for measuring original accomplishment or individual performance. Especially yung tinatawag natin na management. Okay? Management plan okay? or uh, with regards to the personnel. Uh, personal efficiency or personal performance. Okay? And then we have here to increase employees' personal involvement and improvement communication. Because in creating a plan, you should also involve your police Uh, involve the police officers. Okay, you are not going. It is not only the work of the supervisor, or it is not just the work that the PNP chief or the PNP chief of, uh, I mean, uh, let's say the chief of police of a certain municipal police station or a city police station. So that improves or that includes almost all personnel of the unit. Okay, they are involved in planning. And then we have here the objectives of operational planning naman. So as we have talked a while ago, that is in general, objectives of police planning. So to specific naman, we have here objectives of operational planning. So especially uh, in traffic control, kasi napag-usapan natin one of the uh, operations or daily operations na kinahandak nila, okay, or kinahandak ng PNP force natin is, yan, yung mga traffic control, uh, sa traffic, we have here the law enforcement, crime prevention, juvenile delinquency, okay? So, with that, uh, we need operational planning to at least attain maximum degree of success or increase the chances for us to success in performing our uh, uh, daily functions, okay? If we, have a, if we have this operational planning or we have a, an operational plan. That's why they were able to create yung PNP manual of operations nila Okay, or nakalagay doon lahat yung mga protocols nila or operational plans nila. So, nandun sa PNP manual yung iba. Okay? So, as to the latest PNP 2013 pa naman yung meron tayo. And then, we have here uh, some terms that we will encounter if, uh, especially in uh, planning. Okay? So, meron yung tinatawag natin na goal. So, just take note kapag sinabi nating goal yan ay general statement. Okay? Of intention and typical. Okay, with the time horizon of a year or more, a desirable future results. So, as to the general understanding or a basic understanding na meron tayo, ito yung pinakagusto natin na marating or ma-achieve, di ba? But as to here, uh, we can say that is also a general statement. So, napakalawak. It is broad. It is not just specific. So, general statement, katulad na lang ng sabihin natin, goal natin, okay, is to at least... Uh, eliminate eliminate drugs or drug uh, cases okay? or to eliminate drug uh, violations or the use of illegal drugs here in the Philippines distribution eliminate distribution uh, use of drugs here in the Philippines so napakalawak nun or napakalawak nung saklaw nun okay? aside from napakalawak yung uh, Uh, scoop niya kasi buong Pilipinas not only focus on the drug use but also in include niya drug uh, uh, I mean uh, drug uh, distribution okay nandyan na din kasama na din drug uh, creation or drug uh, let's say illegal drug manufacturing illegal drugs manufacturing so that is uh, we can say that is a general statement because hindi specific napakalawak niya. 
Okay, and then we have here the objectives. It is more specific than specific than goal. Okay? Kasi ka, sa goal, sabi natin, napakalawak yung scope niya. Okay, just like elimination of illegal drugs here in the Philippines. So, medyo broad yung term niya. Broad yung scope niya. As to objective, ito naman, as specific things or specific commitments that we need to achieve in order to uh, at least achieve uh, I mean, that we should need to accomplish itong objectives in order to achieve our goal. Okay? Paano natin i-further elaborate yan? Okay, sabihin natin, yung goal natin kanina, di ba, is to eliminate uh, illegal drugs, okay, here in the Philippines. Okay? So, with that, sabihin mong eliminate, so, tatanggalin natin talaga yung uh, cases ng illegal drugs dito sa Pilipinas. So, yun yung goal natin. To make at least, to achieve that, for us to eliminate yung uh, cases ng drugs dito sa Pilipinas, one of our objective is to, yun, pwede nating sabihin dyan, to strengthen our PNP, okay, or to strengthen our police force. Number one objective natin, okay, to strengthen our uh, police force. So, anong mangyari kapag na-achieve natin, na-strengthen natin yung PNP, di ba? In connection yan sa goal natin na ma-eliminate yung uh, illegal drugs here in the Philippines, di ba? So, another one, pwede nating maging objective yan. At least, ma-establish natin good uh, communication or good information sharing between the barangay and then the local police stations. So, one of our objectives is ganon. So, na-strengthen natin and then maganda pa yung communication or information dissemination between the barangay and then the uh, local police force natin. So, nagtutulungan. Anong mangyari pag na-achieve natin yung objective na yun? Nagtutulungan sila. So, unti-unti yan, uh, ma-eliminate natin or makakatulong yan to eliminate yung uh, illegal drug cases here in the Philippines. ba? Diba? So, ganun yung objectives. So, the, the more na mas na-achieve natin yung objectives natin, the more then na yan ay unti-unting na-achieve natin yung goal natin or nakakamit natin yung goal natin. So, that is the difference between the ob objectives and goal. Okay? So, yun yung difference ng dalawang term na yan. And then, we have here also the so-called strategy. So, paano naman itong strategy na sinasabi natin? Okay? So, itong strategy naman na ito is the overall plan or overall battle plan. Okay? So, overall battle plan. So, paano natin? Balikan natin. Yung goal natin is, excuse me, uh, eliminate. Eliminate natin yung uh, drug cases here in the Philippines. So, with that, paano natin, ano kaya yung magiging strategy natin dyan? Or battle plan natin dyan? So, ano yung magiging method natin? So, pwede natin gawin. Katulad ng ginawa ng PNP, ano nang yung strategy nila? So, ang inuna nila is yon Okay? Inuna muna nila is uh, meron tayo yung uh, operational plan okay, na ginagawa nila. So, ano yung strategy doon? So, uunahin na tatargetin muna yung uunahin na natatargetin yung mga uh, mas malalaking isda. Or in other words, yung mga distributors ng illegal drugs or mga mas, nasa mas mataas protector ng drug, illegal drug dens, protector ng mga illegal drug uh, establishments or uh, manufacturing areas. Okay? So, yun yung uh, parang isang strategy. So, that is one battle plan. Okay? Or one of the general plan na gagawin in order to achieve yung goal natin. Another one, aside yung ginagawa din ng PNP, diba? aside from the uh, hindi gumana, kasi hindi yung Actually, ang una kasi na ginawa, di ba, is yung uh, tokhang, okay, o plan tokhang, di ba? So, nauna kasi dyan yung mga user. So, yun, pinupuntahan yung mga bahay-bahay, pinapaamin, pinapasurrender kung sino yung mga gumagamit ng droga. Pero with that, hin um, parang hindi naging effective. Kasi ang, nag ang nangyayari, um, parang ang nahuhuli lang is yung nasa mababa eh walang masyadong ano hindi sila walang masyadong accurate na data na nakukuha sa kanila 
kung sino talaga ang para mahuli or mapatigil talaga yung pag-distribute ng droga. That's why they were able to came up the battle plan na unahin yung mas nasa taas. Okay, mga protector, mga uh, distributor. Instead na yung user yung ano, yung kinukuha or inuhuli. Okay, or pinapasurrender. So, ayun yung sinasabi natin. Or that is an example just to that just to show or just to differentiate strategy with objective and uh, goal na yon and then we have here also a tactic okay so kung sa uh, ano to tinatawag natin na strategy it is in general ito naman is in it's in specific okay it is a specific design so katulad na lang ng special ginagawa or ina-apply in special operations just like na lang sa situations on uh, situations dun sa sabihin natin situations in uh, raid okay paano nila i-raid yung isang bahay okay tactics nila i mean the uh, things or the procedures na ginagawa or dinidesign dun is somewhat we call it as tactics okay So, it is in consonance with the strategy. Or we relate it also with our example a while ago. So, with, as to the strategy, sinabi natin general. General, di ba? General game plan. Pero sa tactics, sabi natin, uh, yung strategy natin kanina is to catch the big fish. Catch the uh, users. Okay, uliin yung mga users. Uliin yung mga drug pushers. at saka mga drug lords. Pero uh, now sa tactic, paano natin may may paano natin may sasagawa? Paano natin mahuhuli yung mga big fish na 'yon? Okay, yung mga users, mga mga ano na mga drug lords na 'yan. So, 'yan uh, pwede nating mag-create, pwede na tayong mag-create ng tactic or ito yung pwede nating may example as tactic. Okay, katulad ng ginawa ng PNP. Anong ginawa nila? So, in order to catch the big fish, ang ginagawa, nakikipag-coordinate sa barangay. Okay? Or nakikipag-coordinate sa uh, badak. Okay? Meron niyang na-create na barangay anti-drug council. Okay? So, dyan, kakausapin or uh, si barangay, okay, uh, obligado siya na i-determine kung sino yung users doon. Okay, si barangay captain, obligado siya kung sino yung kilala niya ng mga drug pushers doon. Okay? And then with that, ipupunta kay mayor. Okay? Pupunta kay mayor and then until such time makakarating sa municipal police station. So parang ganun yung tactic nila in order na makita nila or ma, ma, mahuli nila yung big fish na mga yan. So kaya lumalabas dyan yung white list and then target list. So ano yung white list? I think we have discussed this. on our previous discussion. Okay, so sa white list yan yung mga hindi pa yan mga ano lang parang nakalist parang listahan lang ng mga tao na suspected, okay, na users ng drugs. Okay? Pero yung sa target list sila na yung proven talaga na gumagamit. So they are already or they are uh, added doon sa target list na pupuntan or i-aresto or i-papasurrender ng mga police force natin. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na tactic. A specific design that is in consonance with the strategy. Okay? So, that is for tactic. Next one, we have here the so-called policy. So, simply, in other words, ito yung kailangan natin sundin. As we have said, di ba? Guidelines that we should follow. Okay? It is the rule. That is a policy. And then we have here the classification of planning according to level. Okay, according to level. So number there are two. So one is strategic or long range planning. Okay, so as to strategic, ito ay uh, uh, it takes a long time. Kaya nga sinabi rin na ito ay long range planning. So it refers to uh, it refers to the process of determining how to put an organization. Okay? long-term goal with the resources expected to be available, katulad na lang ng PNP Patrol Plan 2030. So, we can consider it as a strategic plan. Okay? Kasi it took, uh, I mean, it took uh, years in order to achieve or to, it took years to uh, implement that plan. Okay? In a way na 
from the year 20 somewhere uh, 2010 pa okay parang 2010 until uh, this year i mean until 2030 okay so anyway we are going to discuss the update of that uh, on our next chapters okay about the patrol plan 2030 so i think we need to add that baka ma-encounter ninyo or ma-encounter natin in the future sa board examination natin so with that Uh, we can classify it as a strategic or long-range planning. And then we have here the intermediate. Okay, take note pala sa long-range planning, we can say that it is a plan that it is long-lasting, it is applicable for uh, the future times. Okay, and then we have here intermediate or medium-range planning. So I, I said a while ago two, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not two, but actually three. Okay, uh, Long range, medium range, and later on we have here the short range. So we have here the intermediate or medium range planning. Planning, so it relates to plans which uh, determines a quantity, okay, or qualify of efforts accomplishment. So it's application of medium range in duration. So it is not, uh, it just, uh, it takes a shorter time, a shorter duration, uh, unlike dun sa long range plan or strategic plan and it refers to process okay of determining the contribution on efforts that submits that can make or rule with allocated resources and then we have here the last kind of uh, place, uh, classification of planning according to level meron naman yung tinatawag natin na operational or short range planning or it is a plan that is intended for a specific situation katulad na lang ng Uh, katulad na lang ng riots okay? so as to riots or sabihin natin pagdalaw na lang ng mga uh, famous personalities dito sa ating bansa okay? or VIPs katulad ng presidente ng ibang country so dumalaw sila dito so the PNP has a plan in order to secure or to ensure the security of those individuals as they visit dito sa ating bansa Okay, katulad na lang ng Saint, na ni Saint Pope Francis. So, there was an operational plan that was made in dealing or to secure yung pagbisita ng Santo Papa here in the Philippines. So, that can classify as a short-range planning. So, what are the guides in planning? So, it is similar with the uh, 5Ws and 1H ng uh, criminal investigation. So, in planning also, we need to answer or we need to emphasize those uh, five, w, five W's and one H or five wives and one husband question. So we have here what? Okay? It, per, it pertains to the mission or the objective of the plan and then the why. Okay? Why the reason or philosophy? So why are we going to create a plan? So for us to, less, as we have mentioned, the objectives natin kanina, to increase the success. Okay? To increase the success or to increase our efficiency, the efficiency of the PNP. And then when, okay, the span, okay, the lifespan, I mean, uh, the duration, okay, on what, when are we going to start the plan or the, to implement the plan and when we are going to stop or end. And then we have here the where, the place, the who, and specifically the people involved, especially don't sa plan, okay, who will create, who will be uh, consulted don't sa plan or who will uh, participate in making the plan. And who will participate in the implementation of the plan? And then the last one is the how, which pertains to the strategy or how we are going to implement it. And then we have here the responsibility in planning. So as to the broad and external, uh, broad external policy planning. So uh, as you have uh, learned sa criminal jurisprudence din niyo, that the legislative branch is the one who creates or who makes uh, laws. For the stat, uh, for our, uh, or let's say in our government, okay, they are the ones who create, who will pass laws for the, for our government or for our, uh, for the community to follow here in our state or in our country. And then uh, with that, the main concern of the PNP there, I mean, uh, one of the contributions of the PNP is that, uh, yung ano, uh, yung performance, or let's say, Uh, one of the bases okay, in passing, uh, let's say, passing or in creation of 
the legislative branch ng mga special laws is yung uh, data ng PNP. Okay, na meron ang PNP. Just like na lang sa crime rates or crime, uh, let's say, sa datas nila with regards to crimes, number of crimes that are being committed. So, with that, uh, ginagawang basis din ng, ano, ng legislative branch yung mga yun. Datas from the PNP with when it terms to the number of crimes and others. So, that is being considered or that must be considered in the creation of plan. So, alangan naman na, I mean, a creation of uh, law. So, alangan naman nagagawa tayo ng batas. Eh, wala namang ano, hindi naman na-encounter yun na problem. In most of the time, we could, should consider ano yung problema in making or in passing laws also. So, anyway, we have here the uh, next slide. Okay, it talks about the internal policy planning naman all. Dito. So, it is the responsibility. So, as to a while ago, responsibility in planning, that is on the part of the legislature. Okay? And then, we have here the uh, internal policy planning. So, the responsibility of the chief PNP naman. Okay? And other chiefs of the different units on how they are going to implement those uh, laws. Okay? On how they are going to uh, operate in order to maintain security, internal security here in our country, or basically uh, on how, uh, basically doon sa, ano, doon sa uh, achievement or in achieving the objectives and mission of the police organization. So, this is on the part of the chief PNP already. Okay, and it was emphasized here also, the for maximum police effectiveness, they shall responsible for the technical operation organization and management of its personnel. That's why we have here uh, in the PNP, they have a, a nice, or they created an organizational structure which distributed the different functions. So as to the technical uh, operation, nandyan na yung, uh, nandyan na meron silang unit uh, task for that uh, certain function. And then we have here also the classification of plan according to coverage naman. So meron yung tinatawag natin na local plan which involves, okay, which involves yung sa munisipyo, sa barangay, okay, or within the city. As to regional, it covers a certain uh, number of municipality or provinces. So regional plan, mas malawak siya sa local plan. And then we have here the national plan. So it involves the uh, whole Philippines. Okay? And then we have here the types of policy, police plan naman. So according to, as to the types of police plan, meron tayo yung Una dito, policy or procedural plan. So, as, as to the word procedural, okay, as to the word policy, diba, these are the guidelines that we should follow. And then we have here the procedural, these are the step-by-step -step process that we should uh, uh, practice in doing, especially fields or in performing field operations or field functions. So, we have here different types of policy or procedural plan. So, number one is office procedures. So, this is the one uh, one example that we could give in here is on how they are going to report. Okay? Uh, on how they are going to, let's say, achieve, I mean, accept or uh, answer or response to calls of the public or the community. Or nandito ren, okay, it assists the officers which form is to be used for a particular purpose or mga paperworks dito. Okay, records division operation uh, takes important in assurance, okay, in assurance that each task is performed in the manner prescribed. So, nandito, on the office procedures, number one is documentations, okay, documentation works or paperwork. And then we have here the field procedures. Uh, by the way, in here, on how they are going to store, store or on how they are going to keep their files, okay. So, nandyan sa office procedures. Or papano nila, papano yung pag-disseminate uh, ng orders? Or papano yung pag-disseminate ng coordination uh, papers or documents? So, nandyan. Uh, let's say, sa coordination with the other uh, law enforcement agencies, ano yung procedure nila? So, sino yung pag-a-addressan ng letter? Or sino yung uh, pag-bibigyan uh, nila nung uh, coordination form na yun? Okay, and others. And we have here the field procedures. So, these are the things that uh, must be followed okay, by the police officers when they are performing their functions doon sa field. Okay, katulad na lang ng in the conduct of arrest or in the conduct of raids, stopping suspicious persons, okay, using physical force, restraining devices, 
firearms, tear gas, receiving complaints, reporting, and conduct of investigation. So those are common uh, field works of a police officer. So in that, Meron tayo dito sa ano sa police operational plan kung paano nila gagawin yung isasagawa. Okay, hindi ba? Katulad na lang diyan sa paggamit ng firearm. So automatic ba gagamitin nila agad-agad 'yan? Di ba? Ang firearm that is only for a last uh, will serve as a last resort kung masyadong violent na or armed yung uh, inaarrest mo ang yung in over or pinu-pursue mo na criminal or suspect or individual. So that is for Field, uh, field procedures and we have here a headquarters uh, headquarters procedures so this includes the procedures on how to use devices okay like telephone call so this was the one that i've mentioned a while ago so as to the first one okay don sa office procedures na sinabi natin it is more on the documentation okay documentation let's say uh, processing of letters memos uh, or orders coming from the other department or other law enforcement agencies dito naman sa headquarters nandito yung pagsagot ng tawag on how they are going to uh, meron silang protocol na sinusunod on how they are going to uh, deal with the calls that they receive okay the use of fax machine and police radios and others okay so we have here also the special operating procedures so these are usually the Uh, things that are being practiced or uh, implemented by this SWAT, being uh, done by this SWAT, or special weapons and tactics of each um, stations or unit or police units. Okay, so include nandito na searching and preservation on physical evidences. Nandito yung ginagawa ng SOCO, okay, scene of the crime operatives. Protocol sila on how they are going to investigate those or on how they are going to preserve the evidences. or nandyan yung crime laboratories natin. Then we have here the control or licenses, especially sa firearms or yung part ng uh, civil, okay, civil security group, okay, PNP, CSG. So they are the ones who will issue or control the, those persons who can uh, have a license to own and license to hold okay, or carry a firearm. And others. We have here the dissemination of information about wanted persons, in the speaker bureau, inspection of police headquarters, and the like. And then we have here a tactical, the tactical plan. So tactical plan, these are procedures. So these are still under types of police plan. So these are procedures for coping with specific situation. As we have mentioned a while ago dun sa tactic na sinabi natin. So it's very much uh, related or it's very much similar with those Uh, with yung nasabi natin kanina. Okay, at unknown locations. Uh, the example nito is conducting raid. Okay, raid, uh, let's say, pinaghiinalan or suspected drug den, or drug, uh, let's say, uh, storage area. So, with that, uh, it is in a specific location. So, tactical plan usually involved dyan, yung pag-aaralan natin yung uh, surroundings. Okay? or yung building, kung ano ba yung construction, paano ba na-construct, or yung surroundings ng building, saan yung exit, and others. So, that is being, uh, we can say that it is a tactical plan. Okay? So, oh, planning a raid, okay? attack against a building, and others. And then, we have here, uh, still, uh, an example. A plan shall be also made for the following eventualities. So, these are also considered as tactical plans. Okay, blockades, emergencies, special community events, parades, athletic contests, okay, religious celebrations, strikes, demonstrations, and riots, and the like. So, there's a uh, tactical plan. They should be also included in uh, uh, these kinds of situations, especially during sa religious celebrations. So, meron dyan, okay, uh, tactical plans that should be made okay, kasi magkukumpulan yung mga tao, usually. And we have here operational plan. So, plans for the performance of the primary functions. So, ano yung primary functions? So, number one kind of operational plan dyan is patrol plan. Investigation plan, traffic plan, okay, or traffic operational plan. Okay? Or operational plan on tra traffic, investigation, and others. So, operational plan. So, that is purposely for the, this is the guide. Okay, or this is, this is the guidelines that must be followed in performance of those functions. And then we have here 
uh, still on the types of plan and these are the these are under the operational plan or two types of operational plan so one is regular operating program so these are designed to meet everyday everyday specific plan to meet current needs so ito yung uh, parang parang daily routine na ginagawa ng ating police force okay so with that nandiyan yung uh, pagpapatrol okay patrolling okay and then nandiyan under patrolling they should do or they should uh, perform yung tinatawag nila na uh, they should talk with the community they should get involved themselves with the community that is purposely to involve or to uh, create a good report with the community so that is for regular operating program so these are the daily tasks that are being performed by the PNP personnel and then we have here uh, sa traffic, uh, it gives here an example. So, for the traffic divisions, we'll need programs of enforcement, public education, and engineering. So, as to this one, okay, they should uh, yan, yan naman, they should need uh, programs of enforcement. So, they should be educated uh, or they should be knowledgeable on those uh, low, I mean, uh, traffic laws okay, or laws of the land. Okay? So, with that, they should know the uh, Fun let's say the office or the office functions of the LTO, they should be knowledgeable on that, okay? Or they should know also, they should aware on the laws that are being implemented by the LTO with regards to traffic signs and others, magkano ang multa and others. So that should be known by the traffic enforcers. Another one for juvenile division naman, programs that they need, need uh, okay, and designed to make better citizens, okay, of delinquent and pre-delinquent children. And operational plans intended to eliminate certain delinquency-inducing factors in the community. Okay, so as to this uh, daily or regular uh, operating program that are being made, is that uh, nandyan na rin. Okay, they are trying to, uh, meron yung kapulisan natin, they try to investigate. At investigate, they try to make sure that uh, walang abuses na nagaganap. Tignan, katulad na lang sa Cybercrime Division. Okay, they are focused, especially nowadays, kasi talamak ang uh, uh, yung tinatawag natin na sex, okay, cyber sex, or pornography involving child. Okay? So, there are programs that are being made or that are being conducted by the PNP just to uh, eliminate those kind of cases here in our country. And then we have here... They will also need plans to obtain assistance still on the regular operating program uh, from all community agencies in the diagnosis and treatment of certain delinquents as to the uh, cases ng uh, kanina, juvenile delinquents. Okay, or juvenile uh, or cases involved childs. So how about the, here? The second type of operational plan is meeting unusual needs. So that, this is designed to meet unusual needs by the word itself, okay? So just like na lang in the field or this, uh, just like na lang dun sa mga situations, okay, or accidents or disasters or let's say unexpected events. So this, we have operational plans in order to meet with those unusual needs or let's say unnecessary occurrences or events. But as to here also, meeting unusual needs, uh, let's say, doon sa pagkukulang natin, okay? There is lacking, uh, there is uh, lack on our resources. Okay? So in order to meet uh, those, uh, in order to overcome or let's say, to deal with those kind of situations, ang ginagawa, ba merong uh, dinidiskartehan dinidis yung pagpaplano? Or sa plan, dinidiskartehan. Hey, let's say sa pagpapatrol. So, in, since uh, konti lang yung uh, personnel natin na naka-assign for that unit, pero napakalawak yung beat natin, right? yung area of responsibility. So, anong ginagawa? Just to maximize or to meet those uh, with those unusual needs is uh, we are going to create a plan in a way na we should focus na lang dun sa area kung saan mas maraming nangyayaring krimen. Kasi konti nga yung tao. Okay? So, that is one tactic or one design just to overcome or just to uh, at least uh, uh, deal with those kind of situations. So, parang ganun yung paplanuhin natin okay? or yun yung gagawin natin in that uh, in planning or we consider it in uh, making our plan in ganun situations. And then we have here 
uh, meron din na uh, ibigay na example dito, a sudden upsurge of robberies. Okay? A sudden upsurge of robberies. So, let's say, biglang tumaas yung cases ng robbery dun sa area ninyo. Area of responsibility. And with that, you lack resources or you lack, uh, you lack uh, let's say, strength okay? to overcome with those or to deal with those. So, with that, there is a need na you can... Uh, there is a, maybe a protocol or a procedure that you can okay? you can deal or you can talk with other uh, department or other uh, local police unit okay? to seek help okay? or to coordinate with them what is currently happening with your uh, area of responsibility. Okay? So when you need the precise, when you need is, when the need is precisely met by the previously developed tactic plan, planning will be contrast of nothing more than assigning officers to implement and that is for the so-called meeting unusual needs so take note also of those two types of operational plan to continue with the types of police plan meron yung tinatawagin natin na extra departmental plan so when we say extra departmental plan naman these are plan to emergencies which require the involvement of the community so by the word extra kasi di ba you are going to take a look in here, extra department. So, meaning you are going to involve the community or you are going to involve uh, the people outside your department. So, number one uh, thing or number one situation when you are, uh, wherein you are going to need to plan with the outside okay, or those persons outside your department is in times of disaster or in cases or in here, in managing disasters or let's say in war okay so you need to uh, develop or you need to uh, create a plan or make plan with the other uh, uh, government unit or other uh, agencies or offices outside your department so we can we call the plan that was we call that plan as a, as an extra departmental plan okay and then we have here also, on the extra departmental plan, nag-create yan ng mga councils or mga task groups. Okay? So, katulad na lang, in coordination with the DNR, di ba? Okay? In, in, in coordination, okay, meron tayo yung uh, nabuo na anti-illegal lagging. Okay? Anti-illegal lagging task force. Ganun. Sa anti-kidnapping, uh, meron yung uh, anti-kidnapping task force din natin. Okay? Or kung involve ang terrorists, meron dyan yung task force for uh, between the PNP and then the military kasi involved terrorism. Okay? So, mga ganun ba na cases, then we can classify it as extra departmental plan. Okay? Yung binubuo nila. And then we have here management plan. So, it map out in advance all operations okay, involved in the organization. Especially sa, when it comes to personnel. Okay? And then procurement ng mga gamit natin for the department or for the PNP. So, just like na lang, Yung sa recruitment. So, anyway, uh, management plan, it is classified into uh, this. Okay? Meron tayo yung tinatawag na budget planning. So, it involves naman yung sa pera nila. Okay? On where they are going to get the salary. Where, where, where are they going to... Uh, on how they are going to give okay? the salary or maybe how they are going to con uh, calculate for the salary and others uh, and other things that you should need to uh, get or how th they are going to uh, let's say distribute or let's say divide the money that they have okay, in the procurement okay, kung magkano ang ilalaan nila para sa salary of all the personnel magkano ang ilalaan for the benefits magkano ang ilalaan for the uh, procurement of firearms so that is part on the part of budget planning. So we have here the percentage. So it says here at least 20% of the total budget of the city or municipality okay, is uh, given to the police force. So take note of this. City or municipality. Okay, kung meron silang budget, extra budget, so at least 20% may ibibigay sana sa police force. Okay, in no case, however, shall it be less than 17%. So it is a mandate na 20% or hindi bababa ng 17% yung budget for the PNP or for the police force in each city or municipality. Okay? And then with that, nandito rin uh, still on the type of management, I mean, uh, under the management plan, meron yung tinatawag natin na accounting procedures. 
So this assists in making administrative decision in holding expenditures within the appropriations. Appropriations. So they are not the ones who make the budget, but they are the ones who will calculate the expenses, naman. So this is in terms, or sila yung uh, magpa. They they are going to make sure, uh, or they are going, or they are the ones who will make, okay, uh, documents to make sure na uh, alam nila kung saan napupunta yung pera or may papakita nila kung saan napupunta yung pera or may pakita nila na sa legal napupunta yung pera or yung budget. Okay? So, that is on the part of the accounting. And then, we have here uh, specifications and purchasing. So, uh, anyway, meron din silang sinusunod dito. Okay? Merong uh, procedures na sinusunod ang accounting okay? of the PNP in relation to that. Okay? And then, we have here specification and purchasing procedures. So, naging issue-issue dito yung, uh, I think, in purchasing procedures ng, ano, ng PNP. Oh. Let's say, gamit nila. Merong involvement yung higher department nila, the DILG. Or in na issue dito yung uh, previous DILG secretary natin, uh, si Marlo Has. Okay? If you are aware, if you still remember yung uh, case or yung pagbili nila ng mobile, which is yung Mahindra. Okay, an Indian uh, motor vehicle, I mean, an Indian mobile, automobile, okay, na sinobra, in overpriced. Okay, but as of now, kung di ko alam kung meron kayong nakikita na Mahindra, mobile pa ngayon. So, as of now, parang ano naman, napapalitan na ng Toyota, Hilux, and others. Okay, so parang nawawala na yung Mahindra kasi sabi nila low quality pero overpriced yung ginawa. So, that was the issue until now na binabanat kay DILG Secretary Marroa. So, with that, we don't know. Hindi natin alam kung sinunod ba nila yung purchasing procedure during that time. Then, we have here personal planning. Planning, it has something to do with the recruitment and selection. Okay? So, ito yung uh, pinagda... Meron kayo yung pagdadaanan. So, hindi ibig sabihin na pagpasan nyo ng board exam, tumatik na kayo magpupulis. So, a-applyan up, pa ninyo yan. So, mangyari, you will be recruited by the PNP and then, by the time the that you will be recruited, pipiliin nila kung sino sa inyo yung the best. Okay? Say, select nila kung sino yung fit for the police work. Okay? So, that they have procedures on that. So, sa personnel, just to give you an idea, okay, so, mauuna dyan, surely, ang inuuna, okay, is uh, papers muna. Okay? Uh, preliminary interview. So, somewhat they are going to uh, pagre-reportin nila kayo sa opisina, isasubmit nyo yung requirements nyo. And then, secondly, uh, you are going to have already yung physical agility test. Okay, kung minsan, inuuna nila medical, pero kar karaniwan, inuuna nila agility test. And then, that will be followed by the uh, neuropsychological test, and then to be followed by the uh, so-called, uh, ano to, medical okay medical examination and then lastly final interview or final deliberation and then last i mean uh, that's the time pag nalampasan niyo yung limang yun you will be having your oath taking already so that is one of their procedure in personnel uh, i mean recruitment so that is under personnel plan that procedures okay and then we have here under personnel planning okay number one comprehensive recruitment program compensation program for all ranks okay sa mga benefits nila and then, uh, comprehensive training program, career professional development program. So, anyway, this will be, uh, I think this will be elaborate, further discussed to you yung mga trainings nila later on sa other law enforcement subjects niya. And then, nandyan din, comprehensive promotion program. So, 90% nakala nakalaan for regular promotion, 10% dito sa special promotion. Katulad ng mga paggawa nilang ng heroic acts. Okay, that is under or that might be covered under special promotion. Dito sa regular promotion, covered niyan yung uh, schooling. Okay? They should need to finish this kind of training or they should finish, achieve at least this kind of educational attainment before they can be promoted in a certain position. Lateral entry program, grievance system, welfare and benefits, disciplinary program. Those are under, or they, those are included under personnel plan. So, next, we have here the organization plan. So, departmental duty manual defining relationships between components in terms of responsibilities of each. Okay? So, nandito na yung uh, 
uh, duty manual shall incorporate the departmental rules and regulations. So, naka-include dito yung uh, policies nila, organizational plan. Aside from that, the organizational structure, and naka nakalagay din dyan kung ano yung functions of each department. Okay, and ano yung relationship nila or paano yung coordination nila with the other department. Let's say, meron yung administrative, okay, and then meron din yung operational. Or let's say sa PN, not, uh, the organizational structure were in uh, from the DILG okay, down to the PNP. So sa DILG, meron dyan nangingialam, di ba, sa gitna yung NAPOLCOM. So NAPOLCOM, they are going to make sure that the PNP personnel are also, or they supervise the PNP, especially in administrative, okay, administrative uh, functions, okay, tulad ng sa recruitment. Kaya kapag sa recruitment, merong at, meron at merong uh, representative coming from the NAPOLCOM na mag-observe. And then we have here, assist uh, the staff planning unit. Okay, so they are going to assist the chief of police in his administrative duty of planning. So we have here in the PNP, a staff planning unit. Okay, and then, uh, ano pa ba ang meron dyan? Okay, include the experience of the line officers in the factor statistician. So I believe that was emphasized or that was discussed. Uh, it was discussed to you the line and staff functions of the PNP. So ano yung pagkakaiba ng function ng dalawa? So anyway, that is uh, that is the staff uh, planning unit or the PNP should have a staff planning unit. And then we have here characteristics of a good police plan. So these are the basic uh, characteristics we can say to make it as a good plan. Clearly defined objectives. Simplicity and directed directness and clarity. As we have mentioned a while ago, also flexibility. And dapat attainable. Huwag kayong magpa-plano no? or magsiset ng objective na unattainable naman or impossible or hindi naman realistic. So you should plan and you should create an objective or specify a goal that is attainable. Provide standard of operation, economical in terms of resources needed of, for implementation. And then we have here the characteristic of a, a still a good police operational plan naman. Okay, so it reflects the experience. So kung kanina, for a good police plan, so it is uh, for the overall, the organization. So as to the plan naman, operational plan, especially in fields, okay, it reflects the experience of the line officers. Okay, findings of the police statistician. So with that, uh, nandito kasi nga, uh, may re relate talaga natin or crime rate or crime ana analysis is very much important in planning. Okay? And then we have here, it contains the conclusion of the crime analyst. As, we, uh, as to this uh, experience pala of the line officers, okay, you are going to take a look din dito yung mga uh, tao mo. Okay? Sino ba yung mga line officers natin? So, they are the ones, mga patrollers natin, investigators and others. So, katulad nyo ng sinabi na or natutunan ninyo, lines, line officers or line functions, they are the ones who make or they do tasks in uh, the direct okay, direct uh, achievement of the uh, goal of the PNP or mission of the PNP. And then we have here, incorporate the council of the staff officers. So, with that, meron din silang, uh, meron yung sinasabi natin sa support unit, di ba? Okay, let's say sa intelligence, okay, we should also include yung mga informations na binibigay nila, okay, incorporate in our plan, our operational plan. It includes the advice of every organic personnel and units involved in planning. Okay, let's say nandyan na rin yung extra department natin, let's say sa barangay, okay, we should include it also in our operational plan. So if you are going to consider all of those, all of the following, then that could give or that can say, or we can say that you have a good police operational plan. Okay, and then we have here the factors affecting the plan. So, number one there is syempre, yung condition, okay? Political atmosphere, public opinion, or the media, ideological aspiration, okay? okay or yung condition ng uh, uh, area of responsibility ninyo as a whole, okay? The time available to establish a plan before putting it into effort, okay? Kaya nga sinasabi natin as much as possible, Abang hindi nag, uh, nag hindi nangyayari ang isang bagay, we should create a plan, okay? Just to as uh, let's say just to at least alam natin kung paano natin i-deal okay? or paano natin if uh, solve yung problema na yun when it comes. Okay, and then we have here 
The next one, a factor is resources available. This is the common problem in our PNP organization. Kulang na kulang sa gamit, kulang na kulang sa strength. Okay, so anyway, uh, that is for that part. And then we have here another is skills and attitudes of management, a social and political environment. We have here physical facilities and collection and analysis. So those are the factors that are or that affects planning. Okay, and then we have here the steps in planning. So number one there is frame or reference. So kung meron kayo sa learning module ninyo, hindi po yon flame, ah, typographical error na typographical error error. Po yun. Okay, sorry for that. So, frame of reference po yun. Okay, so frame of reference, it talks about the uh, careful view of the matters relating to the situation. So, so, we should take a look carefully dun sa area of responsibility, na, responsibility, na, responsibility natin. Okay, so we should take a look kung ano talaga yung nangyayari dun so that we can have a better idea kung ano yung mission or isiset natin na objectives natin. Okay? You should consider also the opinions or ideas of every person. Let's say yung mga uh, kasama niyo na sa department, yung commander ninyo, or government officials, let's say politicians that are uh, in your uh, area of responsibility, si mayor, si barangay, the community, and others. And then we have here also classifying the problem is the second step. So after you were able to talk with those people, after you were able to analyze the situation dun sa area ninyo, okay, this is the time you are going to have here the, you are going to classify the problem so in other words you are going to identify the problem and then understanding both its records and its possible solutions you are not going to just identify the problem you are going to assume or you are going to create also a possible solution for that and then next is you are going to collect or pertin all pertinent apps okay so maybe cases in the files shall uh, be carefully reviewed to determine the modus operandi suspects types of victims so that is how, how important yung documentation okay so you are going to use that as a reference and that is the third step and then after that you are going to analyze the facts okay after all the data have been gathered careful analysis and evaluation shall be made so titignan the, the let's say sa intelligence nakakuha kayo ng data Okay, na uh, coming from the intelligence. With that, you need also to analyze that, an analyze it. Tingnan niyo kung accurate ba yung data na nakuha na niyo from the intelligence. Baka mamaya, ano lang yan. That is a trap or kunwakunwari or sabi-sabi lang yan. So that's it. After that, you should analyze the facts. Okay, after all, uh, you are going to evaluate it. And then you are going to develop alternative plan. Okay, is the next step. If nakita ninyo, uh, kulang or yung information na nakuha ninyo, it's not suitable for the plan or it's not accurate. So, you are going to develop alternative alternative plan. Okay? Or you are going to create alternative measure, measures for that. Okay? And then we have here selecting the most appropriate alternative. Okay? The best. Kasi in creating or after uh, determining, di ba, sa pagpaplano, napakarami kayong, napakarami kayong mabrainstorm siguro na alternative plan. So with that, you are not going to consider all those alternative plans. You should at least select the most appropriate alternative plan. Okay, the best alternative proposals. And then this time, the selling the plan, okay, the step of selling the plan, this is uh, taken already by the uh, commander or the uh, let's say the head of the or the head of the planning committee or kung sino man yung nasa higher position so that is uh, to seek okay the agreement in belief and acceptance by the persons concerned so lahat ba inaagrihan to inaagrihan ba yung plan na ito or umaagree dito sa napag uh, umaagree dito sa mga nailagay natin sa plano kung paano natin isasagawa so that should be also consolidated so after that if it was agreed by the other, uh, by most of the people, or by the most of the department involved, or by most of the unit involved, then that should be, or that will be proceeded to the next step. Okay, katulad na lang sa patrol, uh, cases of robbery daw. Okay, the patrol division head may be uh, preparing a plan. At the output of the, uh, detec the detective chief is concerned and shall be consulted. So, with that, uh, you are going to consult. Okay, kaya, o nga naman. So, hindi, as we have mentioned nga kanina, Hindi lang isa or hindi lang si patrol supervisor or head of the 
office ang magpa-plan uh, So, you should to, need to consult different agencies. Okay? And you should present your plan and then consult what is their uh, suggestion or maybe what should be the a better uh, thing that might be better a uh, better thing or better steps that should be undertaken. And then we have here arranging the execution of the plan after you you were able to sell the plan. Okay, it was agreed by most of the personnel. Okay, this time you are going to issue the directives and orders to the units concerned. So this is on the part of the commander still. So arranging the execution of the plans, so briefings, okay, meetings, and with that uh, they are going to be instructed kung ano yung uh, gagawin. So arranging the execution muna or parang preparatory ito. And then we have here uh, the parts of the operational plan. So nandiyan, classification, number of copies, okay, issuing headquarters, date and time, title of the plan, reference, purpose, situation, general and assumptions. Okay, and then we have here the mission, execution, okay, concept of operation. So that tatlo yan, preparation phase, actual operational phase, post-operational phase, and then lastly coordinating structures and signatures of those who are involved in the plan okay and then with that uh, next here uh, on the steps is that okay uh, execution of plans already so after you were able to have uh, at least briefing na introduce mo sa kanila kung ano yung gagawin and introduce na sa bawat participants kung anong gagawin then it's the time the execution of the plans already okay so we have here the categories of functions of or tasks of each okay of each uh, personnel na participate participants dun sa plan uh, execution of plan okay so number one jan primary so this is the one or the primary function it is done by the line or operational task i mean a uh, line functions okay katulad na lang mga na personnel na naka-assign dun sa patrol or investigation or traffic or vice and juvenile control so we call those as primary functions the second one is the secondary function so these are auxiliary or service tasks Okay, katulad na lang ng uh, record property, jail, and crime laboratory, and transportation communications. Okay, so auxiliary uh, units usually yung involved dito. So, in th this is in support to the primary task or in support of the achievement of those primary, primary tasks. And then lastly, we have here the administrative or managerial tasks. Okay, nandito yung planning divisions, okay, training in public relations. So, this is also directly in support in the achievement of secondary tasks and then the uh, primary task. Okay, so that is the relationship of both of those three. So take note also of those categories of functions or tasks. And then lastly, on the step of the steps in planning, we have here the evaluating, okay? Uh, So-called evaluating the effectiveness of the plan. Okay, so you are going to take a look kung naging effective ba yung plan. So with that, kapag nakita ninyo na hindi naging effective, then that's time you need to revise or modify that plan. So that also ends our uh, discussion here in Chapter 4, okay, all about planning or police planning. So thank you for watching and then if you have a question again, please uh, have it in our comment section. So with that, I hope you will uh, keep those in your minds and prepare for Chapter Peace that will be announced kung kailan tayo mag-chapter Peace, maybe on our synchronous session. So kindly keep in touch sa DC natin and see you on our synchronous sessions. So thank you and see you next time.